Hi, I'm Sam Foxman. I'm a senior at Hall High School in West Hartford, and I've been, I'm in AP French, and I've been taking French since elementary school. So I'm going to talk about my, my French study habits and what I, what I found to be the most effective. So uh, first of all, whenever the teacher is speaking French in class, I take notes. And I think, well, one interesting thing about the notes I take, like for, for example, is I don't actually look back at the notes. I, the, the whole purpose of the notes that I take is just to write it down, J just the process of writing it down. That really helps me to like reaffirm what the teacher's saying and like the order, like if I ever, if I hear the teacher say something in an order that's interesting or like an idiom that you wouldn't, you wouldn't say it that way in English. I, I just write that down and it doesn't even have to be related to what we're learning. Like it, it could even just be like if they use de when I would have used de, right? Or like just use like it, just one word, like an interesting word. I just write it down. And I, like, I usually write down the context too. So the idea is to just try to get a feel for the order of the language and like the way it flows. And then uh, when I'm studying, I, I don't actually like to use the Quizlet vocab uh, study things that much where it just shows you the English and the French and the English and the French because it's, it's kind of out of context and then I don't and the, the goal is the goal of learning language is not really to be able to translate a single word it's really to, to like understand a sentence so I, I find it much easier to look at example sentences and look at ways native speakers would speak it, that word or use that word in a, in a sentence. And it also helps a lot because a lot of times if you just memorize vocab, you don't, there's like other parts that need to go before the vocab if you were to use it in a sentence. Like you would always have to say like ah after a verb and you wouldn't get that by just studying the, the English translation. So one really important tool I use to learn French is Youglish. And this is a website where you put in a word and it gives you people speaking that word in videos. So, for example, we could go to English. We could ask, uh, how, like we could search for crack. I would wake up at the crack of dawn and because of those words, I would... ...under the crack cocaine mandatory minimum laws. When he did it... ...separators, you know, they crack the egg in their hands and let the white... ...our time, we don't want to crack these weather boards. It's only in... So it's really useful to see how the word is pronounced, of course, but also how to use it in context. So a lot of times we don't learn this in class. Like, we, we learn that Twasium means ninth grade, but then we, we don't learn how to say I'm in ninth grade, right? Like, do you say, I'm at the ninth grade? I'm in the ninth grade? I'm on the ninth grade? I'm at ninth grade, right? Like, without the the. So it's very uh, useful to see how you actually use that word.